up indeed and welcome to a new series we are calling under dark cellars we're going to be starting our journey cooking through exquisite exandria by paying homage to my favorite character pike we're going to make the ever light as air scones but before we can start we need to actually make the papaya lemon curd now i could not find papayas at my local grocery store so we're just going to make a regular lemon curd all of the ingredients and instructions will be in the description box below. So we're gonna take six eggs and separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. Now we're going to zest two lemons. Uh, make sure not to get any of the pith or the white part of the lemon uh, in the lemon zest, it's very bitter. Go ahead and set that lemon zest aside, making sure to get as much as you can. We're gonna slice and juice two lemons. Now I did need to add some supplemental lemon juice that I had frozen from my grandfather's Meyer lemon tree just because these lemons were not the juiciest, but we need a total of one half cup. With that said, we actually need to remove one tablespoon of lemon juice from the total amount. Now for the curd, we're gonna take the egg yolks that we had separated and strain them through a fine mesh sieve into our little pot. And whisk just one more time. Now we're going to add one cup of granulated sugar. and give that a good mix. And we're actually going to mix this in the pot until it's lighter in color and a little thinner in consistency. Nice and runs off the spatula like you'll see here. And we're gonna add in our lemon juice and whisk till combined. On low heat, we're gonna cook this until it coats the back of a spoon evenly and does not move. See, this is too soon. Uh, the mixture would move. But this is what we are looking for. We're gonna add the lemon zest and mix that in. And then one half cup of cold cubed butter. I use salted to balance the sweetness. And you'll notice it starts to come together quite nicely uh, with the butter as it cools it down. Then just in case anything got scrambled in the process, we're going to strain one more time. I know it seems silly, but you need to strain it just one more time. Make sure you add that zest back in there and this will be the silkiest, creamiest lemon curd. We're just gonna clean this up and it's actually cool enough to go in the fridge because of the butter, So, we're, but we're gonna put this in the fridge for two hours so it can set. Moving on to the Everlight as Air scones themselves very excited for this. We're just gonna set this book aside. And in a measuring cup, we are going to put one and a third cups of heavy cream. one and one half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And mix until completely combined. And then once that is done, we are going to go ahead and put that in the fridge to, uh, to cool 
while we preheat the oven, we just need that liquid as cool as possible. We're gonna set the oven to 425. In a large bowl, we're gonna combine our flour, our baking powder, our kosher salt, ground ginger, and granulated sugar. And we're gonna give that a little whisk. And then we're going to add our uh, chopped crystallized ginger and mix that in. And we're going to use our fingers to get rid of any clumps that may have formed with the crystallized ginger. We want that spread evenly throughout the scone mixture. Once that's done, we're gonna add our heavy cream mixture one third at a time. Make sure not to overwork the dough. We don't want any gluten uh, to form. We don't want chewy scones. We want them light and airy and fluffy. We're just gonna make sure everything is incorporated. So I like to use a spatula at first to ensure I get as much of the flour on the bottom of the bowl incorporated as possible. We're gonna go in with our hands and make sure that everything is fully incorporated and that this dough comes together in a shaggy ball with as few dry spots as possible. Again, be very careful not to overwork this. We do not want tough, chewy scones. <laughs> Once that's done, we're going to flour our work surface and gently press our dough out into an eight inch round circle. I didn't actually measure, I just used my hands, two hands across in both directions, about three quarters of an inch thick. I uh, took my pizza cutter and cut eight slices uh, in the dough. Now we're going to go ahead and transfer these scone pieces to a parchment paper lined 9 by 13 baking sheet. Uh, being very careful not to tear them all. Um, and then once that's done, we're gonna pop these in the fridge for 20 minutes to chill before we put them in the oven. This will allow them to rise as much as possible when they bake. We're going to brush the top of the scones with some heavy cream. This will create adhesion for the turbinado sugar um, and pick off any bristles from your pastry brushes <laughs> like I did. We're gonna top these with turbinado sugar and place them in the oven for 20 minutes, turning once halfway through. Uh, so 10 minutes, turn, 10 minutes, out. These are done, they look delicious. I'm gonna put them on a wire rack to cool while the curd finishes chilling in the fridge. I cover them with a cloth though so that uh, no curious kitties get to them. But look how pretty that is. Oh, they look so good. All right, our lemon curd has finished chilling. We are going to do a scoop. Ooh. Look at that texture, that is some sexy curd. So our scones have cooled and I'm gonna try this for the first time and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that texture, it's so pillowy and light and cakey, I love it. Top with some lemon curd. Oh, hot damn, yeah, that's, that's good, that's good stuff. Wow, 10 out of 10 would make a gift.
some final thoughts I had. I thought this recipe was great overall. I think I would up the amount of ground ginger in the scones. I, When I see a spice, I like that spice to be prevalent. So I think I would just up that next time. Overall, 10 out of 10, would love to make these again. All right, adventurers, you know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow. We are brand new, so we need all the support we can get. And if you have any requests on what to see from Exquisite Exandria, I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Bye.